competent standpoint, or they let it spread. And, uh, I, you know, I, I would say probably it was got, it got out of control. But, you know, there's another case that how come they stopped all the planes and all of the traffic from going into China, but they didn't stop the planes and the traffic from coming into the United States and from coming into all over Europe. I mean, look at Italy. Look what happened to Italy. And it's very lucky. This country is very lucky, and I'm very lucky that I put the ban on China. As you know, very early on, in January, we put the ban on in China, and that was a very early day. That wasn't a late day. That was an early day. Then we later put the ban on in Europe. And if we, uh, we didn't do that, as Alex knows, we would have had a problem like you wouldn't have believed. We would have had a, a problem much bigger. But then you take a look at what happened to Italy. A lot of those people went to Italy instead. And it's been a very, very tough place, Italy. And then on holding, them on the holding them accountable, is that something you prefer to do now in the next no, few weeks? No, I don't want to do that. I want to find out what happened. I think we'll be able to get a very good, uh, very powerful definition of exactly what happened. We're working on it strongly now, and I think it's going to be very powerful. Uh, but they could have stopped it. They are a very brilliant nation, scientifically and otherwise. It got loose let's say, and they could have capped it. They could have stopped it, but they didn't. And But they stopped planes from going to China, but they didn't stop them from going to the rest of the world. What was that all about, Jim? Just to help us out on this, to follow up on Jordan's question, you praised China in the past. So what's changed? When you tweeted, China's been working very hard to contain the coronavirus. The U.S. greatly appreciates their efforts and transparency. Uh, yeah. It will all work out well. What has changed between then, when you were saying those things about China, and now? Well, what's changed is the following. We did a trade deal, and everybody was very happy. There's nobody ever been tough on China like I've been tough on China. I got elected, at least partially, because of borders and military and different things. But one of the things I'd say is how China and other countries are ripping us off. So recently, we signed a trade deal with China a number of months ago. China is buying billions of dollars worth of our product, our farm product and other product, manufacturing product, and it's been a great deal. But then we noticed a virus, and it's not acceptable what happened. It came out of China, and it's not acceptable what happened. And now what we're doing, Jim, is we're finding out how it came out, different forms. You know, you've heard all different things. You've heard three or four different concepts as to how it came out. We should have the answer to that in the not-too-distant future, and that will determine a lot how I feel about China. But when I was, of course, I was very rough with China. I mean, Biden, as an example, the previous administration, they let China rip off this country like nobody's ever ripped off this country. Now, what I did is I took that — I took that — Jim, I took that and I made it into a great deal for our country. But after that, all of a sudden, we heard there's a virus, and a virus is coming in. That changes my mind very greatly. That's a whole different thing. So you can have good trade deals. That was earlier on, the trade deal. I made the trade deal earlier on. And it's a great deal. We're, we're taking in billions and billions of dollars of money in different forms, including the fact that we have a 25 percent tariff on $250 billion. It's a tremendous amount of money. Some of that money I've give, given to the farmers because they were targeted by China. We're looking at exactly where it came from, who it came from, how it happened, separately and also scientifically. So we're going to be able to find it. And my question is, have you seen anything at this point that gives you a high degree of confidence that the Wuhan Institute of Virology was the origin of this virus? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And I think that the World Health Organization should be ashamed of themselves, because they're like the public relations agency for China. And this country pays them almost $500 million a year, and China pays them $38 million a year. And uh, whether it's